In this video, you will learn how to create pair plots and also how to create a beautiful custom pair plots that by selecting a list of variables, it will be adjusted and updated. We have a dataset of a variety of ad campaigns on different platforms such as TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, impression, clicks, conversions, and a few different variables. I will create a base pair plot here. Convert your cell to a Python cell, equal sign pi and press tab, and write your code in the formula bar. The first step is converting your data to a data frame, df is equal to, my data is in the data sheet, and I'm going to select the entire table. I will use Seaborn to create the pair plots. Seaborn is one of the libraries that by default is imported, so I don't need to import it sns.pairplot. The first argument is a data frame, and then we are going to pass the variables. The argument is VARS equal to, and you're going to pass your variables as a list. For example, I want to pass these four variables, conversion rate, CPC, conversions, ROAS, and make sure you have a comma between each pair. Hold Control and press Enter, and that should create your base pair plot. If I click on this cell, I'm going to see a preview, or I can right-click and display the plot over the cells. I had four variables, so I'm going to have a 4x4 four four chart. Let's go back to our arguments. I can use one of the arguments as a hue. So we can see which one of these data points belongs to which category. The name of the argument is hue equal to, and I'm going to use platform as my hue. In the updated chart, the blue dots represents TikTok, the orange ones is Instagram, and also we have the green ones for Facebook. You can also use different sets of colors. We have an argument called palette, and I'm going to use a palette called set1. By adjusting these variables and also the category or hue, you're going to have the updated chart. Now you're going to create a fully custom pair plot that you can select the category and you can select the variables in Excel cells. Then you will have your updated chart here. I have a drop down menu to select my categories. These are the list of categories, platform, business type, age group, and campaign type. And also, I have a list of variables that I can pick here. For categories, you need to pick one, for example, platform. And for variables, you can pick any number of variables. In the first example, I'm going to have clicks, conversion rate, and CPC. In C16, I'm going to write my Python code. First, I need to convert my cell to a Python cell. Convert your data to a data frame. DF is equal to, my data is in the data sheet, and I'm going to select the entire table. I need to convert my variables to a list so I can pass that to Seaborn. Let's assign a name to that list. Select a range. I might have more than three variables, so I need to select the entire range, but I need to get rid of those empty cells. Let me show you what we have in this variable, plot variables. Here, I'm going to have a data frame, not a list. This data frame has only one column, and I need to get that column. By typing zero, I will get that column. Then I'm going to drop the empty cells, drop NA, then convert it to a list using the toList method. The result is a Python list. Let's use a pair plot once more. Pass a data frame. Next, we need to pass the variables to this argument, and we assign a name to that list, plot, V-A-R-S. What is the hue? 
we're going to use the categories as a hue and that's cell B6. Click on B6 to bring that value here. I can also adjust the colors here. And I'm ready to create my graph. The graph is created. Let's display that over the cells. Here I have three variables, clicks, conversion rate, and CPC, and the hue is the platform. If I delete one of these variables, the chart will automatically be updated. This will take a few seconds. Here I have a two by two pair plot. I can also add more variables. I have four variables and I should get a four by four plot. The category is platform. If I change the category to age group, the chart will be updated again. As you can see, by writing a very short Python code, you can create a beautiful pair of plots, which is customizable based on different categories and variables here.